Hey everyone, thanks so much for tuning into my channel. Keep on watching as I show you how to recreate this look. So I've already moisturized and now I'm going to go in with a face primer and I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. So I'm just going to go in with a small drop and massage that into my skin all over my face. Next I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation in shade number 7. So I usually like to shake this one up before I pump some on the back of my hand. And then you can either apply this with a sponge or a brush. Right now I'm applying it with a damp blending sponge. And I'm just going to pat that in and blend it into my skin along my whole face, my ears, and my neck. Now it's time to highlight and conceal using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Medium. Now I chose this color because it's a couple shades lighter than my foundation and I want to create more of a dramatic highlight on my face. So I just apply this to my under eye area, along the bridge of my nose, to my chin and my forehead and I'm blending out this color with my damp blending sponge. Now that I'm done applying any creams and liquids, I'm going to set my entire face using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And I'm using a big fluffy brush to just sweep this powder all over my face, set the foundation and concealer, and then I'm going to go in with a damp blending sponge to bake my under eye area. Next, I'm going to fill in my brows using the Pretty Vulgar Eyebrow Gel in the shade Vantage Point. When filling in my brows, I usually use an angled brush that's a little bit firmer, and then I start by outlining the shape of the brow, and then continue to fill in any sparse areas. Now moving on to my eyes, I'm going to start by priming my eyelids using the Pretty Vulgar Uncaged Eyeshadow Primer. So I'm just going to apply a small dot to both eyes and then blend it out with my finger. I want to start out with a neutral base, so I'm just going to use a fluffy brush and apply the Laura Mercy Translucent Powder on top of my eyeshadow primer. For this eyeshadow look, I'm only going to be using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. The first shade I'm using is Champagne Truffle, and I'm applying this to my brow bone as a highlight using the MAC 213 Fluff Brush. Next, I'm applying Salted Caramel as my transition color into my crease using the MAC 217 Blending Brush. So now it's time to darken up this look using the shade Semi-Sweet. I'm applying the shade into the outer corner of my eye and also into my crease. I'm using two different brushes to apply this though. So the first brush I'm using is the MAC 275 Shading Brush and I'm placing this color where I want it and then after I'm going to go back in with the 217 Blending Brush to soften any harsh edges and make sure everything is evenly blended. Now I'm going in with the shade Creme Brulee and I'm applying it to the inner corner of my lid. But as you can see, it doesn't have a lot of shimmer to it. It's 
very dull compared to what I thought it would be. So I decided to apply it with the 214 short shader brush and spray it with some Fix Plus. And as you can see, that did the trick. It's a lot more reflective, has a lot more of a smoother texture, and it just looks so much better. I'm going back in with the shade Semi Sweet to shade a little bit underneath my eyes and I'm applying that along the lower lash line using the 219 pencil brush. Now I'm going to rim my waterline with the brown Pretty Vulgar Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Yours Truly. I'm applying a set of false lashes that have a natural style that are great to just get a little bit of extra volume. Now I want my lashes to be really dark so I'm going in with the Feathers Mascara from Pretty Vulgar to add a lot more length and volume and combine my natural lash with the false set that I applied. Now I'm going to apply the Pretty Vulgar Shady Bee Bronzer all over my face outlining the outer edges and underneath my cheekbones using the MAC 150 powder brush. Now I'm going to highlight my face using the Prosecco Pop Highlighter from Becca Cosmetics. I'm using the very tip of my 168 angled contour brush to apply this shade onto my cheekbones. Then with my 224 blending brush, I'm going to apply it across my cupid's bow and along the tip of my nose. Now it's time to line and fill in my lips using the Oak Lip Liner from MAC. Now I'm going to top off that lip color with the Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in the shade Bow and Arrow. Now because you can never have too much highlight, I'm going to add a little bit of that Prosecco Pop onto my lip color. And there you have it guys, that's it for this look. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like the video, comment, and subscribe. And I look forward to making more videos for you guys. Bye!